Summer's here and it's time to kick back and relax, but of course this year many of us are not going to be able to go on the summer holidays we planned. But there's still loads of things you can look forward to and one of the things that I'm looking forward to is diving into some of my favourite books, Lazing in the Garden. So in this video I'm going to share with you my top picks for Summer Reads 2020 and these are both spiritual growth and personal growth. Let's dive in. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Reboot Your Life. My name is Emma Jane, I'm a life coach, author and spiritual guide and it's summer 2020 and of course we're not going to be able to have the summer we plan because we're in this horrible coronavirus situation. But I don't know about you guys, one of the things I'm really looking forward to doing this summer is actually spending some time at home and going into my reading because I love nothing better than lying on a blanket and reading a good book. Although, it has to be said, normally my summers are really, really busy, so I don't get to do this. So this is going to be my treat this year. So in this video, I thought I'd share with you my top reads for summer 2020. And these are both spiritual growth books and personal growth. Let's get started. So book number one is Walking the Wheel of the Year. Now this is a little bit cheeky because it is my own book, but actually I will be looking through this again this year because my book is all about connecting with nature and connecting your personal growth and your spiritual growth with the cycle of nature. So this is perfect for the summer if you want to get outside and you have the opportunity to go and connect with nature during your summer. So Walking the Wheel of the Year, it's available on Amazon. You can also get it at Book Depository and it's available on Kindle too. So check it out. So book number two is this one, Warrior Goddess Training. Now this book is great if you are struggling to connect with your personal power and you want to reconnect with who you are and also if you're sick and tired of looking for validation outside of yourself because this is all about validating and claiming your warrior goddess power. Great read, you can get it from most bookstores, it's also online, Amazon and this one is one of my absolute favorites. I'm really looking forward to diving it into this year. So, and there's also a Warrior Goddess uh, community on Facebook that you can join when you're reading this book so you can connect with other women who are doing exactly the same thing as you and support each other on that journey. So check this one out. This is book number three and it's The Celestine Prophecies. If you haven't read this book, I urge you to go out. Now, Celestine Prophecies is a fictional tale about nine different insights that help people reach enlightenment. And I've been reading, you can see this copy is a bit battered because I've been reading this book for years and I return to it again and again when I really want to start asking myself some of the deeper questions. The story's a great read as well, so check it out. Celestine Prophecies, again, this one is available from pretty much every bookshop. You can find it in the library and it's also available online, at Amazon Book Depository and all the other book sites out there. So Celestine Prophecies by James Redfield. Number four is actually another book that's been out for years and is kind of the spiritual saga of 21st century, 20th century. It's called The Way of the Peaceful Warrior and it's known as a book that changed lives. Now this is sort of an autobiographical novel by Dan McMillan of how he reached the way of the peaceful warrior. And this is about meditation, it's about how you can use compassion and acceptance to reach enlightenment within yourself and to find that balance and center. Again, you can see this is a pretty old copy, but it's such a famous book, you should be able to find it anywhere in the world, get it through the libraries, Amazon, Book Depository. It's a fantastic read and it's one that you're gonna to return to again and again throughout your life path. And for me, it didn't so much change my life, but it affirmed the path that I'm on in my life and gave me new insight into that path. So highly recommended again, The Way of the Peaceful Warrior. So my first personal development read for 2020 summer is Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. Now this book is all about um, living creatively and getting rid of your fear. But what I love about this book is that you don't have to be a creative person or you know, a traditionally creative person to get something out of this book. I find it's fantastic for helping people get past their fear, do the things they want to do and really follow your passions in life. So this is a fantastic book. It's a really easy read. Again, you can grab it from any bookstore, library and online as well. So Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. 
definitely in my top 10. So boot number two is one that I really wish I could read this summer, but I've actually gone and left it in my coaching office in the university that I work in sometimes during the week because this book is so good for helping you in the workplace. So it's called Certs Inside of Yourself and it's made by an author who works at Google, helping them to implement mindfulness and emotional intelligence and self-awareness within the office environment. Now, I have to say when I first got this book, um, I didn't really get on with it. I didn't really like it until I actually did Search your, Inside Yourself course and then the book gave it a whole different meaning. So I would actually suggest that you read this book twice and it's especially good for those of you that are in a management position or a team leader position and you want to start helping your team members to get the best out of their job and fulfill their potential. It's also really good for teachers as well. So if you're looking for something that can really impact uh, not just your life at home, but also your life at work, then Search Inside Yourself is the book for you this summer. The next one is also one that I've left in my office because it's one I use as a reference book again and again. And obviously, because I'm isolated, I'm not able to get in and get the book. So I'm probably going to be reading it on Kindle. But it is the book Make Your Bed, which was made by Admiral H. McRaven. I have trouble saying that in English because I want to say McRaven, but it's not. That's the Danish version. It's McRaven. And this is based on the graduation speech he did, which he said, if you want to change the world, start by making your bed. This book is so inspirational. It's a fantastic one to have by the bed and read again and again. So grab a copy. You can literally get it worldwide, bookshops, libraries, the works. So go out, make your bed. It's a fantastic read. And my last read for summer 2020 is You Are a Badass. This is How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. Now, this book is fantastic if you're working with self-acceptance, if you there are certain things in your life that you want to change and you want to use your personal power to kick ass in your life and live the life you love. Seriously recommend it. Fantastic book and you can get it online in bookshops absolutely everywhere. This is a brilliant read for summer 2020, especially if you've got a lot of self-doubt issues. This is the book you need to start working with them and turning your life around. So guys, you've got some shopping to do. Go out, get these books. I promise you they will change your life. Each one of these books has impact my own personal journey from the beginning of my self-awareness journey with Celestian Prophecies right the way through to You Are a Badass. Um, which I read last winter and I'm really looking forward to revisiting this summer. So go grab these books. Trust me, you're going to get so much out of it. I hope you really enjoy your summer. I will see you very soon with another Reroute Your Life video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you can get notified every time I bring out a new video. But until I see you next time, my darlings, take care, be safe, enjoy your summer. And in fact, remember, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, especially at this time on the earth, the most important thing we can all do is enjoy our journey.